Hello everyone, my name is ProGamerMan. Today we're going to be playing some Yo Truck Simulator with my new Logitech G27 racing wheel. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So this truck right here is not uh, a truck that comes with the game. Um, it is a mod that you install. Um, if you guys want to know this mod, um, just ask me in the comments below. I'm not going to put it in the description, but if you guys really want it, then uh, I'll go ahead and put the file in the description. Um, but this is a mod. Um, it's, a pr it's a really good truck, uh, 18 gears, um, and it's the most powerful one. And also I have one more mod um, that is Real Company Logos. So um, uh, let's get started. So... <laughs> Let's uh, start up our truck here, um, and I apologize um, before uh, I start this, um, if you can hear my steering wheel and stuff by doing this, I'm sorry if you hear it, um, you know, still getting used to it. So um, let's go ahead and find a job real quick. Let's see where we're going to go. are in Liverpool and we will be going to Rotterdam sounds good oh, and I uh, left in 13th gear without uh, putting the clutch in Let's start the truck back up again I hate it when I stall my truck because it just makes me look like a noob even though I'm not alrighty and since we're in England go ahead and turn left and be on the left side of the road. And we have a green light there. Alrighty. I'm going to go pull into a left. Again, I apologize if uh, there is any steering wheel sound. Um, it's just the setup, not that it's a bad microphone, just uh, the setup I currently have. I'm, I'll, if it's not very good, then I'll uh, end up switching it around, but for now, I think it will be okay, you know, still have to uh, make adjustments and stuff, but, you know. But you do have to keep in mind that um, if you do want this truck, there are some trailers that uh, this does not fit on, um, and I've learned that lesson the hard way, but um, it's still a fun truck, don't get me wrong. Um, you know, just something a little bit different. Um, I'm not using any, like, hacks or anything um, to make it you know easier I'm not I don't have any money hacks or anything I'm just trying to have a little bit of fun and we're gonna go ahead and turn after this car don't do it don't do it don't do it what are you doing what are you doing, you idiot? He didn't hit me, but he tried to pull out in front of me. You stupid. <laughs> anyway. I'm gonna head off to Rotterdam. Heading to the docks. At least our the main portion of our journey is on in England. Um, thing that I like about that is that uh, the speed limits in uh, England are 60 miles an hour normally on the freeways and stuff but we're still on a connection road from the city to the freeway so it's not going to be the maximum speed limit but uh, in England yes the uh, speed limits in this game at least are 60 miles an hour for trucks so that's one reason why I like England but you know
take a left up here. Um, and also, if you guys have any suggestions for uh, games that you'd like to see me play, um, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below, and I will go check them out. So, um, if there's any games that you want to see me play, um, you know, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And I will gladly check it out, because I have been looking for some games to play. But I've had this game for a while. Um, you know, that I just play on my free time. I thought, yeah, it might be fun just to, you know, put it on the channel. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it's really easy to install mods onto this game. Uh, they, and, and in fact, in the file for this game, um, in your documents section, um, not in the actual game itself, but in like where you have profiles and stuff, there is a folder just for mods where you put your mods. So um, you can enable and disable mods and stuff like that. But um, the site that I use to get mods is called ETS2 um, L dot LT. And they have everything from trucks to trailers to AI to uh, environment stuff. Um, pretty much anything you can think of you can change in the game. So if you guys want to, you know, go ahead and do that. Uh, fairly simple. And I'm just going to go ahead and try and pass this truck up here. Now this truck might not be the strongest in the game, but it's definitely, I mean, not, sorry, I meant to say the other way around it. It may not be the fastest in the game, but it is definitely the strongest. I think it's coming in at about 4,300 uh, foot-pounds of torque, which is uh, just insane. I think the second to best is like 3500 and the speed limit changed to 50 for some of them back to 60 alright that's weird but you know And, uh, yeah, there's also, uh, multiplayer for this game, um, it's also a mod, but, um, you need to have this game installed through Steam for it to work. Um, so, if you have the original game, like the disc copy, what you can do is, when you're in Steam, you can go and add a game and then add the product key, um, instead of having to buy it through Steam again. Um, and then just don't delete the um, Euro Truck Simulator 2 folder from your documents section just delete the one that's in your program files um, and that'll keep all your profiles and stuff um, and you'll um, start where you left off just you'll be in Steam instead of uh, instead of just it being installed um, through the disk and then you can go ahead and play multiplayer, which is fun occasionally, but, uh, yeah. Just, uh, when you want to play that, you can't have any mods installed or enabled. Um, you can always disable them, but, um, for trucks and things, just make sure you have another truck or something. Or, um, you just do quick jobs and stuff. Because if you have a truck that you use as your main truck, that truck's not going to be there if it's a modded truck. So, just uh, be aware of that, and uh, you'll be fine. But here, living on the west coast of the uh, America... Um, oh, by the way, it's American America Day today. Well, the day I'm recording it, anyway. Um... Yeah, living over here, um, if you want to play on the servers in the afternoon, there's no one there because usually they're all from Europe, and so it's like 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning over there, so there's only going to be like a couple hundred people, but if you play in the morning here, there's going to be at least uh, 
thousand or so people, I'd say. I think I've seen like uh, two thousand people. I think you can fit three thousand people in each server. So um, I mean, it's and to to, do, to um, download this mod, I stuttered there. I was like, um, to download this mod, you just go to uh, ETS2 multiplayer dot com and go ahead and register and then uh, you know make a username and everything and you're all set but uh, yeah that's fun occasionally but um, the only way you can make money is just by on yourself by yourself so um, your company doesn't come into play in multiplayer and uh, that's a little bit unfortunate um, also there's people that just like like to troll people and uh, ram people and uh, you know so you have to pay for that damage, even though it wasn't your fault. Um, which can get a bit annoying, but, um, you know, you risk what you're doing, you know, um, by playing multiplayer. So you're pretty much aware of the circumstances um, before you go into it. Just, you know, what I would do instead of um, having your own personal truck um, as, you know, as that um, you just do quick jobs instead so then you don't have to pay for damage to your truck and stuff if something does happen like that and then um, you know if you do get damaged you don't get paid any money but you know at least you don't have to pay like an extra fifty thousand oh yeah I'm on the wrong side of the road <laughs> I'm stupid um, you, you don't have to pay an extra you know fifty thousand euros because someone like rammed you and you got like 50% damage so you know that's an upside to doing quick time jobs but at the same time you kind of want to just you know I mean I think the best option in this game is to do that but you know um, you know having your own truck is nice sometimes you know to customize it and stuff but that's really the only reason why um, but I mean if you have a hack or you just get a ton of money and then you just go to multiplayer and disable that hack and you have like 15 million euros then you don't even care if you get damaged or not because you have enough money to pay for it but if you're like me and you only have uh, you know almost 300,000 euros I mean that's a lot but you know uh, if you have to pay $50,000 every time you get rammed you know that's I mean not that it doesn't happen not, not that it happens all the time, just probably at least once every five sessions it's probably going to happen, and it just comes ag aggravating. So, you know, just be aware of what you're getting yourself into. Uh, and, you know, it's fun, but, you know. And it uh, looks like we should be approaching the docks here soon shouldn't be too far off. Go ahead and make a right up here. Into 13th here, and that was not good. That was not good. Did not see that. Did not see that. Let's, uh, let's go, hopefully. <laughs> this is funny. This is funny. It is. Alright, can you please go, please? You know, I'm, I'm getting kind of tired of just, you know, sitting up here. Alrighty, please go. Please go, car. Thank you. This is funny. Alright. At least you know we didn't take any damage. That's good. Alright. Good this way. Good that way. Alright. Alright. And I don't know why there's so much traffic going that way. Throw it 
Go ahead and truck it out of here. Almost at the docks here. Truck it, truck it, truck it, truck it. Let's go. Gotta go fast. Like I said, it's not the fastest truck, but it's definitely the strongest truck. Right. You know, I at least want to do 55. I mean... I know the speed limit says 50, but you know, 50 is like slow. A roundabout up here. I hate roundabouts because the AI, I mean, they just cut you off. They don't, it just like, they're like, oh yeah, you're not even there. I'm just going to cut you off, and then you're going to have to, you know, hit me or whatever. I'm going to hit you, and then you have to pay like $500. And you're like, why? And why did you do that? And why did you just break check me? I hate you so much. You're gonna die. I don't wanna kill you. I didn't I didn't wanna have to kill you, but you know what? You're not worth my time. You're not worth my time. What's going on over here? What's going See that got you nowhere. That got you nowhere. Didn't it, sir? It got you nowhere. Go go right ahead. Go right ahead. No. Go right ahead. I don't care. Don't even. Turn around to here. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and let it idle here for a little bit. Cause I gotta turn. Sir, you can go now. Sir. That's the normal horn. It sounds so weak. And that's the air horn. Alrighty. You can go, sir. Sir, you can go. Sir, can you go, please? You're wasting my time. I don't need to deal with this crap. Please go. Let's go. Are you going straight? Yes, you're going straight. And then I'm going to turn after you. See, it's not that hard to turn left, sir. And I have to turn right here. Sorry, guys. Sorry, I did not warn the thigh. Didn't warn thou. Don't worry, I'm not gonna hit you. Just go, please, before the next person comes. Alrighty, and then we want to go there. Europort. I don't think that's an actual town, but, you know, <laughs> whatever. Um. Back to driving on the right side again.
about 17 miles away now. Gonna have to make a left here. I hate this intersection so much. It's the worst. In. We are almost at our destination. Six miles. I'm gonna get in this left lane here because we have to uh, turn left up here. So It's gonna drop here in just a minute because we're coming into town 31. Knew it. Alrighty, almost there. Swift right after this car. I, have to make, I thought I had to make a sharper turn than that. Don't hit any signs. All right, we're good. And we're gonna make a left into the Chevron over here. Chevron. First four. Just slowly park here. Right, that looks good. Looks good. All right. Excellent. And we come in with a grand total of. 13,251 euros, which leaves us with 3,000, uh, sorry, not 3,000, do you even count, bro? <laughs> 312,981 euros, and we're gonna go ahead and head over to the sleeping area. I just go over to the service station because they always have it. I'm gonna make it right actually. Pretty nice truck, you know, except for when that uh, red stuff pops up in the front. I have no clue why it does that, but you know, whatever. It's a nice truck. Well, I thought I thought I saw it turn yellow and then green. Must have been a different layout. Alrighty. Oh, don't hit that. Darn. <laughs> Alright, coming in here. Got some other trucks parked here. 
Usually there isn't, but... Best parking job ever. I have to say so myself. Actually, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. Alright. Alrighty, guys. So, this is where I'm going to end this episode. If you guys enjoyed, please hit the like button and subscribe. Um, if you want to see more content like that, please leave your support in the comment section below. And, of course, I hope you guys enjoyed. And, most importantly... Peace out. Thanks for watching. Yeah.